Good afternoon. This is Pamela, and you're listening to Watchmen on the Pod. We are going to continue in our Bible reading today. We are in the book of Romans, chapter 15. And I just want to remind you that this time, instead of four translations, I will be reading from five. The first will be the King James. The second will be the Apostolic Bible Polyglot. The third will be the Scriptures 2009. The fourth will be the World English Bible. And the fifth will be the complete Messianic Aleph Tov Scriptures. The Example of Christ, Romans 15. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak, and not to please ourselves. Let every one of us please his neighbor, for his good to edification. For even Christ pleased not himself, but, as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproach thee fell on me. For whatsoever things were written aforetime are written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the Scriptures, might have hope. Now the God of patience and consolation grants you to be like-minded, one toward another, according to Christ Jesus, that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wherefore receive ye one another, as Christ also received us to the glory of God. Now I say that Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of God, to confirm the promises made unto the fathers, and that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, For this cause I will confess to thee among the Gentiles, and sing unto thy name. And again he saith, Rejoice, ye Gentiles, with his people. And again, praise the Lord, all ye Gentiles, and laud him, all ye people. And again, Isaiah saith, There shall be a root of Jesse, and he that shall rise to reign over the Gentiles. In him shall the Gentiles trust. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. And I myself also am persuaded of you, my brethren, that ye also are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, able also to admonish one another. Nevertheless, brethren, I have written the more boldly unto you in some sort, as putting you in mind, because of the grace that is given to me of God that I should be the minister of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles, ministering the gospel of God, that the offering up of the Gentiles might be acceptable, being sanctified by the Holy Ghost. I have therefore whereof I may glory through Jesus Christ in those things which pertain to God. For I will not dare to speak of any of those things which Christ hath not wrought by me, to make the Gentiles obedient by word and deed, through mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and round about unto Icarium, Iericum, or something like that, I have fully preached the gospel of Christ. Yea, so I have strived to preach the gospel, not where Christ was named, lest I should build upon another man's foundation. But as it is written, to whom he was not spoken of, they shall see, and they that have not heard shall understand. For which cause also I have been much hindered from coming to you. But now, having no more place in these parts, and having a great desire these many years to come unto you, Whensoever I take my journey into Spain, I will come to you, for I trust to see you in my journey, and to be brought on my way thitherward by you, if first I be somewhat filled with your company. But now I go unto Jerusalem to minister unto the saints, for it hath pleased them of Macedonia and Achaia to make a certain contribution for the poor saints which are at Jerusalem. It hath pleased them verily, and their debtors they are. For if the Gentiles have been made, oh, sorry, for if the gen, for if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things, their duty is also to minister unto them in carnal things. When therefore I have performed this and have sealed to them this fruit, I will come by you into Spain. 
And I am sure that when I come unto you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ. Now I beseech you, brethren, for the Lord Jesus Christ's sake and for the love of the Spirit, that you strive together with me in your prayers to God for me, that I may be delivered from them that do not believe in Judea, and that my service which I have for Jerusalem may be accepted of the saints. This I may come unto you with joy by the will of God, and may with you be refreshed. Now the God of peace be with you all. Amen. And that was the King James Version. <clears throat> Hold on, I had to check that because I keep getting strange phone calls. I don't know who they're from. Okay, here we go. Ah, Romans 15, Apostolic Bible Polyglot, the example of Christ. But we, the ones able, ought to bear the weaknesses of the ones disabled and not to please just ourselves. For, <clears throat> for let each of us please his neighbor for good and for edifying. For even the Christ pleased not himself, but as it has been written, the scornings of the ones berating you fell upon me. For as much as was written beforehand, it was written beforehand for our instruction, that through the endurance and account of the comfort of the scriptures, we should have hope. And the God of patience and comfort may, be give, may he give to you the same regard with one another according to Christ Jesus, that with one accord and one mouth you should glorify God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore take to yourself one another, as also the Christ took you to himself for the glory of God. But I say Christ Jesus has become a servant of circumcision for the truth of God, for the affirming the promises of the fathers and the nations for mercy to glorify God, as it has been written, saying, Because of this I will make acknowledgment to you among the nations, and to your name I will strum. And again it says, Be glad, O nations, with his people, and gain, and again praise the Lord, all the nations, and praise him, all the peoples. And again Isaiah says, There will be the root of Jesse, and the one rising up to rule nations upon him, nations shall hope and the god of hope may he fill you with all joy and peace in trusting for you abounding in the hope in power of holy spirit but i am persuaded my brethren even i myself concerning you that you also are full of goodness being filled with all knowledge being able even to admonish others but more daring, I wrote to you, brethren, in part, as reminding you through the favor, the one being given to me by God, for me to be a minister of Jesus Christ to the nations, administering in sacred service the good news of God. Um, <clears throat> that the offering of the nation should be well received, having been sacrificed in Holy Spirit. I have then a boasting in Christ Jesus, the things about God. For I dare not to speak anything which Christ did not manufacture through me for the obedience of the nations by word and work, in the power of signs and miracles, in the power of Spirit of God, so as for me, for Jerusalem and round about unto Iricarum, to accomplish the good news of Christ. And so striving earnestly to announce good news where Christ was not named, that I should not build upon another's foundation, but as it was writ has been written, to the ones to whom it was not announced concerning him they shall see, and the ones who have not heard they shall perceive. Therefore also I was hindered the many times to come to you, but now no longer, having a place in these regions and having a longing to come to you for many years. Whenever I should go into Spain, I will come to you, for I hope traveling by to see you and by you to be spent forward there, if I should first be filled in part by you. 
but now I go into Jerusalem serving to the holy ones. For Macedonia and Achaia think well to make a certain fellowship unto the poor of the holy ones of the ones in Jerusalem. For they take pleasure in it, and they are not their debtors. For if to the nations they participated in spiritual things, they ought also in fleshly things minister to them. This then, completing and having sealed to them this fruit, I will go forth by you into Spain. And I know that coming to you, I shall in fullness a blessing of the good news of Christ of the Christ. But I appeal to you, brethren, through our Lord Jesus Christ and through the love of the Spirit to be companion at arms with me in the prayers for me to God that I should be rescued from the ones resisting persuasion among the Jews and that my service the one for Jerusalem should be well received by the holy ones that in joy I should come to you by the will of God that I should be refreshed together with you and the God of peace be with you all amen All right, the next one will be the Scriptures 2009. All right. The example of Christ, Romans 15. But we who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let each one of us please his neighbor for his good to build him up. For even the Messiah did not please himself, but as it has been written, the reproaches of those who reproached you fell upon me. For whatever was written before was written for our instruction, that through endurance and encouragement of the scriptures we might have the expectation. And the Elohim of endurance and encouragement give you to be of the same mind toward one another, according to Messiah that with one mind and one mouth you might praise the Elohim and Father of our Master, Yeshua Messiah. So accept one another as Messiah also did accept us to the esteem of Elohim. And I say that Yeshua Messiah has become a servant of the circumcised for the truth of Elohim, to confirm the promises made to the fathers, and for the nations to praise Elohim for his compassion, as it has been written, because of this I shall confess to you among the nations, and I shall sing to your name. And again it says, Rejoice, O nations, with his people. And again, Praise Yahweh, all you nations. Praise him, all you peoples. And again, Yahshua says, or Isaiah, I'm sorry, says, There shall be a root of Israel, or no, of Jesse. I'm sorry, it's all in Hebrew, so I'm trying to trying to learn this here. There shall be a root of Jesse, and he shall rise to reign over the nations, and on him the nations shall set their expectation. And the Elohim of expectation fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you overflow with expectation by the power of the set-apart spirit. Now I myself am persuaded concerning you, my brothers, that you are too, that you too are filled with goodness, complete in all knowledge, able also to admonish one another. But I have written more boldly to you, in part, as reminding you, because of the favor. Oh, hold on, this magic jack wants to come up here for some reason. I don't know what's going. On. Hold on. One pause it okay forgive me I don't know why the magic jack's doing that I have no idea so let me start again uh, Romans 15 15 I'll start out with the scriptures 2009 but I have written more boldly to you in part as reminding you because of the favor given to me by Elohim to be a servant of Yeshua Messiah to the nations with the priestly duty of bringing the good news of Elohim so that the offering of the nations becomes acceptable, set apart by the set apart spirit. Therefore, I have cause for boasting in Messiah Yeshua in the matters pertaining to Elohim, for I shall not presume to speak of any matter except what Messiah has worked out through me in word and deed to make the nations obedient, in power of signs and wonders, in power of the spirit of Elohim, 
so that from Jerusalem and round about to Icocon, Il, I don't know, Ilaracon, I have completed the preaching of the good news of Messiah. And so I was ambitious to bring the good news where Messiah had not been named, lest I should build on another man's foundation. But as it has been written, to whom it was not announced concerning him, they shall see, and those that have not heard shall understand. This is why I was often hindered from coming to you. But now, no longer having a place in these parts, and having a longing to come to you for many years, I shall come to you when I go to Spain. For I expect to see you on my journey, and to be helped on my way there by you, if first I be somewhat filled with your company. But now I am going to Jerusalem to serve the set-apart ones, for it pleased those from Macedonia and Achaia to make some contribution for the poor among the set-apart ones who are in Jerusalem. For they were pleased, and they are their debtors. For if the nation have shared in their spiritual matters, their duty is also to serve them in material matters. Having completed this, then, and having put my seal on this fruit of theirs, I shall return through you to Spain, and I know that when I come to you, I shall come in the completeness of the blessing of the good news of Messiah. But I urge you, brothers, through our Master Yeshua Messiah, and through the love of the Spirit, to strive together with me in prayers for me unto Elohim, that I might be delivered from those in judah who do not believe and that my service for jerusalem will be well received by the set apart ones that i might come to you with joy through the desire of elohim and be refreshed together with you and the elohim of peace be with you all amen all right world english bible chapter 15 the example of christ now we who are strong ought to bear the weaknesses of the weak and not to please ourselves let each one of us please his neighbor for that which is good to be building him up for even christ didn't please himself but as it is written the reproaches of those who reproached you fell on me for whatever things were written before were written for our learning, that through perseverance and through encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. Now the God of perseverance and of encouragement grants you to be of the same mind with one another according to Christ Jesus, that with one accord you may with one mouth glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore accept one another, even as Christ also accepted you, to the glory of God. Now I say that Christ has been made a servant of the circumcision for the truth of God, that he might confirm the promises given to the fathers, and that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, Therefore I will give praise to you among the Gentiles, and sing to your name. Again he says, Rejoice, you Gentiles, with his people. Again, praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Let all the peoples praise him. Again, Isaiah says, There will be the root of Jesse who arises to rule over the Gentiles. In him the Gentiles will hope. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope in the power of the Holy Spirit. I myself am also persuaded about you, my brothers, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, able, with all knowledge, able also to admonish others. But I write the more boldly to you in part, as reminding you, because of the grace that was given to me by God, that I should be a servant of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles, serving as a priest of the good news of God, that the offering up of the Gentiles might be made acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. I have, therefore, my boasting in Christ Jesus and things pertaining to God. For I will not dare to speak of any things except those which Christ worked through me for the obedience of the Gentiles by word and deed in the power of signs and wonders and the power of God's Spirit, so that from Jerusalem and around as far as to um, Illyricum, 
I have fully preached the good news of Christ. Yes, making it my aim to preach the good news, not where Christ was already named, that I might not build on another's foundation. But as it is written, they will see to whom no news of him came. They who haven't heard will understand. Therefore also I was hindered these many times from coming to you, but now no longer having any place in these regions and having these many years a longing to come to you. Whenever I travel to Spain, I will come to you, for I hope to see you on my journey and to be helped on my way there by you, if first I may enjoy your company for a while. But now I say I am going to Jerusalem, serving the saints, for it has been the good pleasure of Macedonia and Achaia to make a certain contribution for the poor among the saints who are at Jerusalem. Yes, it has been their good pleasure, and they are their debtors. For if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things, they owe it to them also to serve them in fleshly things. When therefore I have accomplished this, and have sealed to them this fruit, I will go on by way of you to Spain. And I know that when I come to you, I will come in the fullness of the blessing of the good news of Christ. Now I beg you, brothers, by our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the love of the Spirit, that you strive together with me in your prayers to God for me, that I may be delivered from those who are disobedient in Judea, and that my service, which I have for Jerusalem, may be acceptable to the saints, that I may come to you in joy through the will of God, and together with you find rest. Now the God of peace be with you all. Amen. All right, now let me open up my Bible. And this is the complete Messianic Aleph Tov scriptures. And we are in Romans 15. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. For even Mashiach pleased not himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached you fell on me. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Now the Elohim of patience and consolation grants you to be like-minded one toward another, according to Mashiach Yahashua, that you may, with one mind and one mouth, glorify Elohim, even the father of our Adonai, Yahashua HaMashiach. Wherefore, receive you one another as Mashiach also received us to the glory of Elohim. Now I say that Yeshua HaMashiach was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of Elohim, to confirm the promises made unto the fathers, and that the Gentiles might glorify Elohim for his mercy, as it is written. For this cause I will confess to you among the Gentiles, and sing unto your name. And again he said, Rejoice, you Gentiles, with this people, with his people. And again, praise Yahavah, or Yahweh, all you Gentiles, and laud him, all you people. And again Isaiah said, There shall be a root of Jesse, and he that shall rise to reign over the Gentiles, in him shall the Gentiles trust. Now the Elohim of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Ruach HaKodesh. And I myself also am persuaded of you, my brethren, that you also are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, able also to admonish one another. Nevertheless, brethren, I have written the more boldly unto you in some sort as putting you in mind because of the grace that is given to me of Elohim that I should be the minister of Yahashua HaMashiach to the Gentiles, ministering the gospel of Elohim, that the offering up of the Gentiles might be acceptable, being sanctified by the Ruach HaKodesh. I have therefore, whereof I may glory through Yeshua HaMashiach, those things which pertain to Elohim. For I will not dare to speak of any of those things which Mashiach has not wrought by me, to make the Gentiles obedient by word and deed. 
through mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Spirit of Elohim, so that from Jerusalem and round about unto Lysarum, Lysarum, I think that's it. Thank you, Father. I have fully preached the gospel of Mashiach. Yea, so have I strived to preach the gospel, not where Mashiach was named, lest I should build upon another man's foundation. But as it is written, to whom he was not spoken of, they shall see, and they that have not heard shall understand. For which cause also I have been much hindered from coming to you. But now, having no more place in these parts, and having a great desire these many years to come unto you, whensoever I take my journey into Spain, I will come to you. For I trust to see you in my journey, and to be brought on my way thitherward by you, if first I be somewhat filled with your company. But now I go unto Jerusalem to minister unto the saints. For it has pleased them of Macedonia and Achaia to make a certain contribution for the poor saints which are at Jerusalem. It has pleased them verily, and their debtors they are. For if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things, their duty is also to minister unto them in carnal things. When therefore I have performed this and have sealed to them this fruit, I will come to you into Spain. No, I will come by you into Spain. And I am sure that when I come unto you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Mashiach. Now I beseech you, brethren, for Adonai Yahashua HaMashiach's sake, and for the love of the Spirit, that you strive together with me in your prayers to Elohim for me, that I may, delivered, that I may be delivered from them that do not believe in Judea, and that my service which I have for Jerusalem may be accepted of the saints, that I may come unto you with joy, by the will of Elohim, and may with you be refreshed. Now the Elohim of peace be with you all. Amen. Amen. All right, brothers and sisters, that's Romans 15. We got one more chapter to go, and then we're done with the book of Romans. Not too sure what we'll be reading next. Lord knows, because he is the one that directs our steps. Praise God. Keep your eyes on Jesus, brothers and sisters your nose in the book, which is the Word of God. And embed the Word of God upon the tablets of your hearts so you will not sin against God or be deceived. Till next time.